Hello everyone, welcome to a new video tutorial. My name is Shiro. Today I'm going to talk about our dropshipping catalog. I'm going to show you how to select a product and how to add it to your, uh, to your DNS store. So uh, it's quite easy. The first thing you do is of course go to create a product. Then you will find the icon from the catalog. And here you will find all the products uh, that suppliers con uh, that are directly um, working on TZD uh, uploaded. So um, here you can see you have the search bar and you have different kind of filters so that you can uh, quite easily find uh, products for your niche. Uh, you can see uh, information, the, the titles, you can click on the image of a product um, where you can see if the supplier put more information, if for example on the quality you can see here, uh, you put more information about the shoe. Uh, you have the delivery, the delivery time, the estimated delivery time, and here of course you have the, uh, the price per product and if it's on stock or not. Um, keep in mind that in, at this moment uh, most suppliers that we have on, on the platform are from China. Uh, we have a few German ones uh, but we are of course the goal is to add more European and uh, US supplier in the future. So um, uh, so the, what we do now is select a product so I can show you how to create a campaign uh, and how to add it to, um, um, to the DNS store. Yes. Keep in mind that you need a DNS store. If you don't have a DNS store with Ontizily linked from an outside hoster or bought Ontizily, it could, um, you can't uh, use this product. So once we select the product, we go next step. And here we have the different variants with the different images. So as you can see, uh, this supplier has a lot of shoes to offer. So um, what we can do on this page is to, uh, first thing, we have more information. We have the product cost. We have the shipping cost. This goes to US with this kind of, um, um, with, this, with this shipping. So, and I will choose, I can change the currency here. So, so I selected now uh, dollars. I will choose the selling price. So let's say, um, put $59. What I can do is, here yeah, this is the shipping price. So now if I leave it like this, the, the customer will see $7.70 shipment, uh, of shipment. So um, so I want it to be, of course, um, uh, less, so to, so to not spook um, a customer. So um, I will put, for example, I will offer a free shipping, let's say like that. Okay, it will take. It will be taken directly from the profit because I will, I will, uh, I will be um, in charge of that. Um, so you can see here directly on the end the profit I will do with each sale. Uh, I will can I can choose also a compare price. So I will put seventy nine dollars. But in this case, if I do it like I did now, I will change it only for one shoe. Since I have a lot of variants, I can use the directly the bulk the bulk action. So I will put fifty nine. Zero and seventy-nine. So when I change directly for all kinds of shoes, for all the variants, as you can see here. If you don't want to sell a few, I don't know. If you don't like, for example, this one, you can just delete it here, and it will not be available in the campaign. So once we have decided the price, the, sell, uh, the shipping price, the comparable price, we selected the, the, the variants we want to sell. We go next step. Uh, this step is quite easy, you can already see straightforward, is to create the information about the campaign. So here I have the different mockups. If I don't like one, I can also delete it from here. I have the different variants, in, uh, I, have to, I have also a variant previews that I can see here. And, um, and here I put the description, so I can put directly the one I want, or leave the one that the seller put. Uh, the supplier put, I'm sorry, or you, I can put, I can choose one per default. So I'm just going to show you. In this case, uh, we are here. We can change the campaign name. So pretty easy. Um, here it's the URL. And like I said, here you need a DNS store. So I will link it to my DNS store. If I want, I can choose also directly collection. So I'll put it under my main clothes, and I will launch the campaign. So it's pretty easy, as you can see. In a few minutes, you have a unique product on your on your on your store, a physical product that you can combine with the print on demand. I think it's a quite unique offer. So uh, take a look around on the, on our catalog. I'm sure that you will find something that is interesting for your niche. And well, that is that's it. If you have questions, leave some comments below or contact us on our TZLX success page. And uh, yes, have a nice day.